Hi everyone, it's Gary Nicholson here for the Mountain Weather Information Service. This is your planning outlook on Tuesday the 28th of May. Now it's a story of changing air masses as we go through the week ahead. Uh, at the moment we've had uh, a fairly cool polar maritime northwesterly. Well that's going to be moved out of the way as a tropical maritime southwesterly comes in as we go towards the end of this week and it's not particularly good news that for the mountains because it brings fronts and dampness off the Atlantic it brings a lot of low cloud there'll be rain and drizzle which will plague many western hills over a few days ahead some strengthening winds at times as well and by the time we go through into next week then all of that may move through and it's back to a story of cooler air and sunshine and showers Either way, it's not particularly settled for the time being. Expect some wet and windy conditions at times on the mountains over the next week to 10 days or so. The charts then for the next few days, high pressure on Wednesday is away to the south and east of Britain. Meanwhile, low pressure and a warm front is edging in from the southwest. There's something of an old occluded front somewhere north of Scotland producing one or two areas of showers. It's not such a bad day for many places. The showers from previous days are fewer and further between. Wales is likely to deteriorate as that front pushes in, there's rain moving in here and rain may eventually spill further onto many western hills later in the day as that warm front just extends in across Ireland. Bit of a tangled mess then into Thursday, watch your local details but the message is one of a lot of low cloud coming in on a southwesterly. There's fronts trailing through and I suspect across west and southwest Scotland it's a day where rain is frequent. Some heavier falls, maybe not uh, absolutely torrential but enough to be persistent for many hours. Northern Scotland a chance of escaping just to the north of these fronts. And across England and Wales it may just be small amounts of rain but a lot of low cloud will fill in across western hills of Wales, the Lake District as well. It'll be a familiar theme into Friday too. There's uh, pressure building across the south of Britain, but for most of the upland regions, it's the story of a damp south southwesterly. There's fronts across to the north and west of Scotland and across the west of Ireland, and that's pulling in a lot of low cloud, almost from sea level upwards, basically around some of those coastal hills. There's rain and drizzle, most persistent on western hills, at least of the way of rain further north across the highlands, where you may stay substantially dry. Likewise, not too much total rain for Wales, but low cloud will be plaguing many of the coastal hills. Dampness on and off for northwest England. Now it looks like that frontal system begins to fade a bit on Saturday. We just need to watch the detail a little bit. High pressure is around and it tries to have a go at building. It never completely pushes the weather systems away. So it's a legacy of low cloud and dregs of rain and drizzle. It may fade for a time. So total small, but the dampness that's in the air with the south southwesterly fetch will likely plague most of the western hills from Wales to Cumbria to western Scotland in a lot of low cloud. There may be some breaks that try and form, so a chance of something a bit better, but particularly in Scotland around that old front, you could just be stuck with it all day. Best chance for some higher breaks, probably toward the Cairngorms with the airflow coming across the hills, breaking the cloud up more toward the east and the northeast of Scotland. Temperatures will be rising across uh, many areas, uh, double figure temperatures up onto the hills with that mild south southwesterly. Now we need to watch the details for Sunday, not absolutely set in stone that this chart is exactly like this, but it's the idea of another frontal system and low pressure spinning itself up off the Atlantic and moving towards us. The risk then of winds becoming widely gale force across many of the hills, some rain setting in, some heavier bursts associated with that cold front, and again low cloud on the hills. There's the risk then for a very unsettled day on Sunday, just watch the details at this stage. I think the general message is that that area of low pressure will be around into the start of next week. If we run the story onwards for a few days, it's a message of low pressure that's centred somewhere just north of Scotland. And once again, drawing in some cooler air that comes back around from the northwest. So temperatures could drop markedly again back to freezing point on the higher tops in Scotland in the early days of next week. So only a short lived push of warmer conditions around the weekend. It'll be a story of showers, some sunny spells around as well, those showers heavy in places thundery and the very highest tops in Scotland, some snow and some hail could well fall once again. Expect a changeable few days then for next week, an unsettled few days really, blustery winds at times, uh, a real mixture as we go through the first week of June. 
It could be a while before we get rid of that because many indications now suggest that low pressure just for a, a few days at least is anchored to the northwest. Eventually, maybe later in the week, uh, the suggestion is that that low begins to weaken, pressure builds a bit more over Europe and we maybe start to see a change to a build of pressure with time. Some hints would start to take that low uh, more to the southwest eventually, maybe even towards Biscay. And if that happens, we could start to draw in our air back from the south once again. So there's subtle changes further ahead. I wouldn't want to get too clever with the details for now. At the very least, the early days of June look cooler and showery once again. So a bit of a struggle to find genuinely good weather for the time being. It's variations between murky and damp and then back to almost the four seasons in one day situation as we go into next week. You can stay up to date with us every day on the website with the local written forecasts for your area. And we'll update the video again for you on Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.